Hi, this is a tutorial video on creating spreadsheets. Uh, the program I'm going to be using for this tutorial is called OpenOffice Calc. It's the OpenOffice version of Microsoft Excel. And if you're using Microsoft Excel, don't worry. Uh, pretty much most of the things that I'm going to be going over and uh, using have the same names, have the same uses as uh, Microsoft Excel. So you're going to be able to follow along with no problem. Uh, if you don't have either program, uh, take a look at my description. I'll have a link for uh, where you can download this excellent free program. Now, creating spreadsheets is a great skill to have. You can use this at home, work, or in your own business. Now, some of them can be simple. Some of them can be really complicated. It just depends on what you're uh, doing with it. If this is your first time or you've never understood it, don't get intimidated. There's lots of possibilities. Like I said, they can be real simple. I use spreadsheets myself for keeping track of purchases for my business, but the uses are actually endless. And I can go on and on about the different uses for a spreadsheet, and you could probably still think of some that I've never thought of. Well, enough of praising spreadsheets. Let's get into it. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the basics uh, of using open office or for using spreadsheets and in the future videos we'll expand on those basics now if we look at this spreadsheet here you can see that the program is composed of many boxes and in the program each of these boxes is called a cell um, and each of these cells have a specific address uh, to explain it a little bit better, uh, if you've ever played the game Battleship, it's got the same naming uh, like you would use in Battleship. So if you're going to shoot a torpedo at a ship or try to find a ship, you're going to say C5. And that would indicate the address of where you're trying to fire that uh, torpedo. Well, in Open Office or in Excel, it's the same thing. Uh, the naming starts with the column which is the letters C and then the second part of the address goes with the row let's say it's 5 so this would be row 5 this would be column C and this box in particular would be or cell would be C5 now you're not going to use a whole lot of this at the beginning but when we start making formulas this is going to be important so you might want to just kind of get comfortable with that fact that we're going to want to know what is the address of each of these. Now in this program, if I put uh, a click on the C6, it'll tell me what address that I'm at right here. So if you still aren't sure, like if you're out here in the middle of a bunch of boxes and you don't notice where it's highlighting I19, well you can look up top here and see that it says I-19. So um, as I mentioned, these are columns and the numbers are rows. Now these columns don't have to stay this width. Like if I'm going to write something in this box that's going to uh, go beyond how much this column can handle, I'm going to want to expand it and that's possible. The way to do that is to put your cursor in between two cells and you can see that the cursor changes into a line with two arrows going in left and right. Now this is an indication that now I can hold down my left click button and expand or retract the size of that column. So I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. So if you need to adjust the size that's how you're going to do it in the rows work the same way. If I want to change the size of a row, I'm going to go in between them till it turns into a line with two arrows, going one going up, one going down. I'm going to hold down the left click button and I'm going to adjust the height as I wish. Now you see it's a lot wider than it was, or the height is more. So with what we've just learned here, we can make a simple spreadsheet. And we're just going to make a simple spreadsheet, a spreadsheet with uh, names and amounts. For this example, we're just going to pretend that you uh, have a certain amount of money and you want to know how much you have and where you have it. 
So first, we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up all the different places you have money. So let's start out by, um, I always like to start out not in the very beginning here because who knows, maybe later on I'll want to add something into this cell. So I always go this way, but you can start out here or here. In this example, I'm just going to start out here. So I'm going to start out the first place that I have money is a bank. Okay. And I'm just going to fill that in over there. We're going to worry about uh, adjusting sizes and changing formats a little bit later. Right now, let's just fill out our columns. So we have money in a bank. I've got money in my wallet. Uh, where else? We might have money under our mattress. I don't know if anyone still does that, but that's good. That's one example we could use. Under your mattress. Whoops. And in a can outside and in the last spot uh, in my pocket okay so I've got money in the bank money in my wallet under my mattress in a can outside and in my pocket now if you notice under mattress is not big enough. It doesn't fit in there. It's indicating that with this little air, red arrow. Well, as we learned a little while ago, we can expand the size of this column to allow this to fit. So we're going to go do that. And the other ones seem to be a little too big, but we're not going to really start adjusting all that because we want to have room for whatever we're going to fill in under here. So we're going to wait until we've got most things filled out before we start adjusting too much. But in this case, we knew that was absolutely not going to fit, so we needed to expand it a little bit. So now, let's start filling out spots. Now, let's pretend in my bank I have uh, $100,000, and we're going to use this number. It'll be a good example to show us what happens when we type in a number here. So for $100,000, I've got 100, a comma, three zeros, um, decimal point, and then two zeros indicating the change. Now you'll notice when I click out of that, this formatting or the way this looks is going to change. I click under wallet and it changes uh, not in the amount, it still says 100,000 but it doesn't say it the way I typed it in there. We're going to fix that. But let's just fill in our amounts and then we'll see how to fix these so that they actually look like money and uh, might be easier to read that way too. So in my wallet, let's say we have uh, $80. Okay. Under my mattress, I've got uh, $300. And in a can outside, we've got, uh, let's say, $500. We've been saving up for a while. In my pocket, let's say $2.86 so that we have something with change. Okay, so now we've got our amounts, but this really doesn't look like how I want it to look like. I want these cells or the amounts in the cells to look like money because they really don't look like money. This could be 80 cents unless I notice that there's no decimal point, but it just it makes more sense if I can see that it looks like money. So what we're going to do is we're going to format these cells. Two ways to do this. Now, instead of just doing one at a time, we're going to choose all the cells that we want to format to look like money. So I could format this and then go here and format this, go here and format this. But if you had a lot of cells that you needed to do this in, it would take a very long time. So we're going to choose all of them by holding down the left click button and then just dragging it all the way to the end where we want to change this formatting. Now I'm going to let go. It's going to remain highlighted. There are two things I can do right now. I can go up top. If you notice in the menu, there is format. And I can format cells. Under format, there's an item called cells. We can also right click the highlighted area. Let me get out of this. We're going to right click the highlighted area and we can also format cells. They'll do the same thing but it's just another way of doing it, whatever is more comfortable for you. So we're going to just right click and format cells. Now when this window comes up, the next window that's going to come up, it's called format cells. 
and it has all sorts of different options. The options we're going to worry about is just what comes up first is the numbers option. And right now, our formatting for each of these cells is just a general number. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to format it as currency. So we're going to click down there and to say currency, and it's giving us an example here of what $2.86 will look like with this formatting. And that's good enough for me. I'd like to have a dollar sign in front of it and um, the cents spelled out. And that will cause there also to be cents shown in the 500, 380, and the 10, or the 100,000. But it'll just say zeros, of course. And um, this is a very simple way of doing it. And it's probably what you want to stick with at least at first. You can fool with these things later, but let's just stick with this uh, simple formatting here. Dollar sign and two decimal places. And you can change that here, how many decimal places and other items. But we're just not going to mess with any of those. We're just going to say OK. Now when I clicked OK, it changed all my amounts. My amounts are still the same actually, but it changed my amounts the formatting of those cells so that my amounts actually look like money. So now we've successfully created um, something that records what we have. Now, what if we want to know the total amount of money we have? Well, we can make another cell here and we can type in there total and we're going to we're going to have to have this box here we want it to total up everything automatically we don't want to have to add it up on a calculator and then type in the amount every time we want this cell to automatically figure it out for us so we're going to create our first formula and actually we're going to have the program do it because the program has a automatic uh, sum option where it will add it up. It already knows what formula to make and you won't have to learn any um, formula code to do it. All you need to do is click the cell that you want the total to come in and then we're going to go here. Now in Excel it's called auto sum. In this program it's called sum. So we're just going to click that. Now the program's smart enough to know that if you have amounts in a certain area, that it's very possible that those are the amounts you're going to want to add up. So you can see there's a blue line all around these amounts. Now what that does is it's telling you, I'm going to sum up from B2, which is over here, to F2, which is over here. And that seems correct to me. I want to add up all those dollar amounts that I have. If that seems good to you, then you'll just hit enter. If it highlighted this one and I didn't have an amount and I don't plan on putting an amount in here, then we might want to change it. But in this case, everything turned out fine. We can just hit enter and I'm going to do that right now. Now that I hit enter, it automatically added up everything that I have in these uh, other cells and it gave me the total here. Now if I want to see, if I click G2, which is the address of this cell with the total amount, you can see what's in that cell and you can see that there's a formula in that cell. If I click 286, it'll just so, show 286 because that's all that's in there. 286 here, 286 in the cell. But if I click here, it shows me the total amount, but if I go into this input line, it'll actually show me what uh, formula I have in there. So I don't want to really mess with any this cell anymore because now this cell is going to be my automatic adding tool. And what I can do is if in my pocket I have $2.86, you'll notice this, $2.86 there. If I change what's in my pocket, like let's say I lose all my money, uh, my pocket has a hole in it and then I get home and I realize I have no more change in my pocket, I can come to my spreadsheet, put zero in there, and you'll see the amount will be automatically changed in our total side. There. This became zero. This uh, subtracted or just did not add up the 286. So you don't want to mess with any of the 
auto summing features so that or the code in there so that you're not messing with your formula because you could get some crazy amounts or it just won't work all together if you start messing with what's in here so now I'm happy because I've got an uh, automatic tally of what's in my pocket in my can outside under my mattress in my wallet or in my bank I can have that all add up every day I'll come here and say okay I found five bucks on the ground and it's in my pocket so now add it up for me and it automatically adds it up and if I put money in the bank or I take it out it'll remove and take it out as I change these numbers so we've made a simple spreadsheet let's make it look a little nicer right now the formatting is all default uh, I might want the items the column names to be bold so let's do that sometimes I like to do that in the spreadsheet when I have column names the bank the wallet under the mattress we're gonna change all that to be a little more bold a little more uh, easier to see so I'm gonna choose all this or I can go to the one click the one and it highlights the entire row of number one and if this is the way I'm gonna build my spreadsheet and I'm gonna have other columns well it'd be nice to already have that formatting in that top column so I'm gonna choose that top column top, top row excuse me and I'm gonna choose bold now you're gonna see everything becomes bold and because everything becomes bold some things get a little too big for their cell well we can fix that we can spread these out a little bit more by clicking between the cells and spreading them out now um, another thing I like to do is to have my wording centered if I have bank here I don't want it all the way to the left I like it in the center like this B is this B is right in the center I want the bank word right in the center so what I can do is go back and choose that entire row and I can go here where you have your uh, text formatting and I can say align center horizontally and when I click that it'll apply that setting to everything that I've highlighted So let's click that and you'll notice everything went to the center great so now um, I don't mind that my amounts aren't bold but I would like my total to be bold because I'd like to know right away or I'd like to notice it more what is my total money so I'm gonna just click that particular cell I don't have to choose more than one if I only want to work on one and then I'm gonna hit bold okay so now my total is bold and all my titles are bold so we've created a very simple spreadsheet um, but you can find a lot of uses for doing something like this in the next video we're gonna expand on this and we might use the sp same spreadsheet and we might start doing other options that you can use and uh, make things a little bit more exciting because we'll be uh, using a lot of these different tools little by little so thank you for watching uh, please see my other videos and if you have a question uh, put it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you with it thanks a lot